What up, G Life fam? It's your boy MC Shadow back at you with another video. Uh, now, make sure you guys like, comment, make sure you subscribe. It helps the channel out. Um, now, what I wanted to talk about was actually uh, something that uh, the homie uh, Low Pro on the comments um, gave me the idea for this video without even him knowing about it. Um, that's the beauty about um, YouTube, you know, the comment section. I get to interact with um, people and um, they open up a bunch of new avenues uh, on how to look, you know, at things and and um, sharpen my skills. Um, not only that, help me better understand um, myself and the scenarios and everything like that. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and act like I know everything or like, oh, I have all these ideas for all these videos, you know. Um, you know, the, that's why I say that we're a team right here because the people in the comments uh, help as well by sparking up um, some of the ideas for these videos uh, or suggestions and stuff like that, you know, that give like good uh, topics uh, to speak on. That's why I, I never try to sit here and act like I'm above everybody or, uh, you know, I'm the man and it, we're a team right here. It's a team effort. There is no, there is no channel without you guys. Uh, you know what I mean? So for me to sit here and actually uh, think otherwise would be very uh, narcissistic of me, wouldn't it? <laughs> a lot of people have egos on YouTube. Uh, other channels that I see is like, wow, you really think that it's all you, huh? Okay. <laughs> I give credit where credit's due, always. Um, I would never take uh, credit for somebody else. You know what I mean? Um, I believe that everybody, you know, should get their fair share, uh, you know, when it comes to it. I'm a fair person. Now, what I wanted to talk about, like the topic of the video says, um, gangsters, do gangsters have feelings? Gangsters feel. And although people like to think gang members don't feel nothing, they only care about themselves and yada, yada, yada. Um, that is um, that is just going based on people uh, who dislike, um, um, you know, gang members um, and who have... Uh, personal vendetta against this lifestyle who just who are just looking to bash the life in general you know what i mean i can only be honest um because gang members do feel they have feelings uh even though some homies will think that they're they're cold-hearted as motherfuckers that they don't feel nothing they have no feeling it depends how you look at it you know what i mean um you know because of the choices that we make and everything like that every day people would be saying like um that's insane or um or that's cold-hearted or cold-blooded. Um, people do feel, you know what I mean? It's just that what we feel about and where we put our feelings in is different from everyday uh, society. Um, now, why that is, um, just getting to know the whole um, the whole um, psycho um, psychology behind it. Um, you know, because gang members do have feelings. That's why I always say, when people say that gang members are stupid and this life is a choice and that, they act like if we could s switch it on and off like that. Like, it's that easy. Like, just walk away. Like, it's that easy. Like, what people fail to realize is that you don't feel what these individuals feel. There's actual real feelings there, like, that we can't control. We have no control over. Like, if you insult my neighborhood, I can't control me getting angry about it. Like, it's going to happen. It's going to naturally happen. Why that is, I have no fucking idea. But I'm going to get angry about it. And a lot of people are. And that's not fake anger. It's not like we're just acting like we're mad. It's we're legitly, genuinely getting mad. It's like you're insulting uh, my mother or something like that. Um, and that's real talk. I'm not trying to be on here to sound cool and tough and all that. That's real shit. You know what I mean? Gang members have real feelings and real ties to this kind of lifestyle that it, 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 it's as easy as, as me telling you, walk away from your family right now. Just just leave. Just just don't ever talk to them again. Just keep on walking. You're going to understand how difficult that's going to be uh, for you to do. It's not going to be that easy. Uh, the same, you know, for, for, for a homeboy. Hey, what? That's stupid. How is that? This is actually family. And I have already explained this on my video plenty of times. Family does not um blood doesn't make you family loyalty does because you're only speaking about it from the aspect that we all come from a loving family like you do but we don't all have that luxury some of us come from you know some pretty fucked up scenarios that even regular day people wouldn't be able to comprehend what certain uh family members uh could do to an individual shit that you guys wouldn't even be able to comprehend See, you're only speaking about it that like you because you have a loving family. So you automatically assume everybody lives the same as you. Must be nice. So you don't get to just, you know, 
throw, act like everybody lives their life like you do or have it as lovely as you do. Um, you know, it's not all about you. Get your fucking head out of your ass. <laughs> um, my bad. Um, no, but it's not that easy. There's actual real feelings there. Uh, like I said, it's getting to know the psychology behind it. That's one thing that law enforcement, um, judges, lawyers, all these other people that want to be quick to criticize and everything like that fail to realize ever because to them, it's their own hatred and their own ego getting the best of them and they just can't see it. And why nobody points it out is because they're the good guys. And why would you want to point out the flaws in the good guys? Because the other guys are the villains. So therefore, it's so easy to stay quiet and act like they're the the ones that have the answer. When in reality, they're making the problem worse. But I'm only calling it for what it is. Like I said, I'm not defending gang members in the lifestyle or nothing like that. I'm simply calling it for what it is. Because gang members are bad. This lifestyle and all that is bad. But it's getting to the understanding behind it. Because there is actual feelings to this. Um, You know, um, we do have some emotional ties to this. Um, That's why even... They want to say that it's not true, but the fact that they're in watching my video right now is all the proof you guys need. Even ex-gang members, you know, the ones that dropped out or snitched or became priests or or found religion in their life, and and they, that's why they still linger around gangster movies, gangster music, uh, gangster channels on YouTube. Why they're still floating around. In the gangster world Or maybe when no one's around They read gangster books Or gangster movies or But something that has to do with gangs Catches their eye and attention Even though they left that gang be- That lifestyle behind And everything like that They can't help but to But why that is though Why do they want to still hear about this Why do they still want to reminisce Why do some of them When they talk about these stories They have smiles on their faces You know when you hear the priest talk Or whatever You know there's sometimes When they tell you about Oh, this shit that happened back in the days or whatever, and they're telling the story. You see the, you see the, the a real smile, a real genuine smile. You know, like, like if you know, like he's remembering something. You know, like good. And even though we were like, uh, yeah, but you know, like, but fuck that life, and yeah, cause yet you know it's all bad and everything like that. You know, uh, you know. But while they were caught in that moment, you seen the joy there. Um, now, why does that joy exist? Um, why do those feelings still? You know. Because those are genuine feelings right there. And why is that? If it's all bad and chaotic, then you shouldn't have no emotional attached to it like that. Uh, like if you're talking about a loving uh, family member or something like that. Like I said, there's actual there's actual emotions attached to this. Uh, that people fail to, uh, to understand that. Um, that's why I always say that I know is raising these kids better. I know it's starting to... Starting to uh, to find or or to uh, finance or, or or put some kind of you know into these um, younger like younger divi- like elementaries or middle schools like you know start helping when the problem needs to be stopped you know if you want stop if you want to stop um, this whole lifestyle and, and the chaos around the world you have to start from when they're young not when they're high schoolers that's already too late bro. Because by the time we all reach high school, my boy, we're already kind of screwed up in the head already as it is. So it's already too late. You guys want to start when it's too late. You guys want to start when they're in fucking continuation or in high school or when they're already uh, behind prison walls. You got to help the problem from when, you know, they're young before it gets to that. Um, You know what I mean? Um, You know, these guys want to put a bandage over a fucking open wound. You know what I mean? Like... It's already too late for that, my boy. And you could sew it up, but guess what? There's a chance that it's going to open up again and, 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 and it will never be the same still. So how about we start before it even gets to that? You get what I'm saying? Um, but that way people like get a better understanding, even though you know people want to act like we're cold-hearted. Or, I don't feel nothing or I don't have any feeling. Oh, man, don't listen to them. They're just trying to look tough and act tough for the cameras. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't even know why they act like that. Uh, maybe they're insecure about Maybe they're not really about it And that's why they want to put up that front uh, Like I said uh, Showing emotions and stuff like that Don't make you weak Being afraid to show emotions That's what makes you weak You're scared What people might think about you Might judge you Might want to test you And you know that you're not going to be prepared for the test That's why you don't want to get tested like I said, people could think I'm soft and a weenie or lame or whatever, and it's like, and it's fine, you know. When they meet me in person, they they could confront me there, and 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 then they could see the reaction, you know what I mean? Um, they could think whatever they want. Um, 
you know i don't mind being tested uh you get what i'm saying but there's others that are that are afraid for what reason i have no idea <laughs> uh you know because people could be like man that fool's weeny lame ass soft ass fucking weirdo asshole like yeah, okay if they say it in person then they'll really see that's why i don't mind behaving the way i behave because if somebody don't like it they could call it out and you know we could you know do what it do and then you know shake hands after and drink a beer it ain't nothing bro I mean, we've been brawling our whole lives come on now <laughs> like bro stop only those who have never gotten in fights are scared to fight you know what I mean but I mean if you already been on that roller coaster a hundred times you're not gonna be scared to ride it because you already know how it feels for the first time into a little antsy huh having doubts and everything like that and be like I'm not as scared of that ride I'll get on it you know what I mean why do they do that because they're really scared no okay um Telling is also psychological. Anywho, um, don't want to steer away from the actual topic <laughs> itself. Um, no, but see, there is you know emotional ties to this that 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 people need to understand. So it's not that's why it's not that easy. You know, that's why when you're making all these comments and everything like that, like fucking idiots and blah blah, you might want to consider that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure there's something in your life, whether it's a trophy, a toy. Uh, a loved one, uh, a team, uh, you know, a football team or basketball team, shit, a band, a song, an artist, that when somebody insults it, insults it, you feel some kind of way about it. Now, why is that? You know, stuff to us has an emotional attachment to it uh, that others can understand that, you know, like, you could tell me that it's, I don't know, let's say it's a, uh, I don't know, an old toy or or, or a certain basketball team, you know, or whatever, you know, and uh, uh, to other people, they'll be like, man, why are you making it a big deal that he said, fuck that team, that, that team sucks, like, why are you getting all bent out of shape about it? See, that's because nobody understands that emotional attachment you have to it or, or how you feel about it. That's why it's so quick for them to say, like, what's the big deal? But to you, it's a big deal because, you know, you, you know what it is. Same with these gang members. I'm just calling it for what it is. I'm just saying, I'm shadow for you.